Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Selamat datang ke Syahnun Channel, saluran pendidikan anda. Okey, hari ini kita dah masuk pada uh, pelajaran yang berikutnya di dalam kimia matriklasi iaitu reaction kinetics di bawah subtopik reaction rate. Okey, jadi tanpa melengahkan masa, mari kita sama-sama belajar. Okey. Okey. Uh, reaction kinetic our objective is define reaction rate and then write differential rate equation determine reaction rate based on differential rate equation of a reaction define rate law order of reaction and half life write rate law with respect to the order of reaction write the integrated rate equation for zero first and second order reaction Derivation is not required. Determine the order of reaction involving single reactant using initial rate method. Half-life based on graph of concentration against time. Linear graph method based on the integrated rate equation and rate law. And lastly, perform calculation using integrated rate equation. Jadi banyak objektif ya. <coughs> Tapi untuk video kali ini, uh, setakat A, B dan C sajalah. Okay. Untuk seterusnya, kita akan ada tam, uh, untuk D, E, F dan seterusnya. Okay. Okay, introduction, uh, what is uh, reaction kinetic? Actually, reaction kinetic is the study of the rate of chemical reaction, factor affecting rate and the reaction mechanism by which reaction occur. Okay. Reaction rates uh, vary greatly. Some are very fast, for example, explosion of firecracker. Uh, okay, uh, bunga api itu meletup sangat pantas, less than uh, uh, one second. Okay, and some are very slow, ripening of fruits. Uh, buah tu nak reput, nak letak time meja, 3-4 hari baru reput. Or rust, okay, besi nak karat pun lambat. Nak cepat, perendam lah mayak. Okay. okay, what is the important of reaction kinetic ni? Uh, usually in industrial process lah. Because di dalam industri proses, uh, proses uh, time is very important. Kita nak supaya uh, tindak balas kimia tu dia cepat kan. Kita nak dapat hasil dengan cepat. Okay. And then how to obtain product economically. Kita nak dapat produk uh, tetapi uh, uh, dengan menggunakan, uh, dengan dapat hasil yang cepat tetapi ekonomi lah. Uh, tak guna uh, banyak elektrik uh, lah katakan contoh. And how to control over reaction. Dan Reaction tersebut mesti boleh dikontrol. Kalau tak kontrol, nanti meletup kilang payah. And how to get optimum yield under optimum condition. Okay. Macam mana kita dapat hasil yang banyak dengan kita dalam condition yang optimum. Contohnya, um, tenaga elektrik yang tak banyak sangat. Kan? Masa dapat dikurangkan. Macam itulah. Okay. So, uh, Reaction rate. What is reaction rate? Uh, reaction rate, we use a small r, 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 is the change in concentration of reactant or product with change in time. Okay, that is reaction rate. Okay, rate, uh, change in concentration over time. Uh, apabila tindak balas sudah tentu uh, kepekatan satu bahan itu akan kurang. Jadi, means change in concentration. Dan product akan meningkat. There is change in concentration over time. Jadi unit dia, <coughs> oleh kerana kita menggunakan concentration, uh, mol per liter ataupun molar kan? ataupun mol per liter cube. That is uh, concentration over time. Time ni could be second, could be minute, could be hour, could be week, could be uh, months, could be year, could be millennium. Masa, tak kisah pada dia. Note that uh, rate inversely proportional to the time, shorter time means higher rate. Alright. Uh, Okay, rate inversely proportional to the time. Seperti kita lihat pelari 100 meter. 100 meter, dia dapat menghabiskan dalam masa 10 second. Dia adalah pelari yang pantas. Tapi kalau 100 meter, dia lari 20 second baru sampai. Dia pelari yang lembab. Yang lembab. Sebab berpeluh. Okay. Okay, this is longer time lah yang tadi tu. Longer time, uh, rusting in uh, besi ni. And... Uh, ini explosion shorter times jadi rate dia tinggi right. 
Jadi ha, sekarang kita nak tengok contoh. Consider reaction A to B. Simple. A. Kita punya return kita A. Produk kita B. Ha, contoh yang simple. Jadi kita akan tulis rate tadi. Kita tahu dia adalah uh, perubahan terhadap concentration dengan masa kan. Jadi kita akan letak tanda negatif untuk uh, reactant. Sebab reactant tu semakin lama semakin berkurang. Okay? Concentration of reactant decreases. Jadi kita buat tanda negatif. And then rate of uh, product, we use sign of positive because concentration of return, uh, no, concentration of product increases. Okay. Alright. Okay. Kita nak tengok graph of concentration versus time. Ini yang tadi. Ini yang tadi. A to B. This is a rate of uh, rate of decreasing of return. Ini a rate of increasing of product tadi. Alright, jadi dia punya graf macam ni. Okay. Uh, this is uh, graph of concentration. Concentration katakan ini dia pakai number of molecule. Pun boleh number of molecule. Ataupun kita boleh guna molarity lah. Okay, concentration. Okay, this is number of molarity versus time. Ni masa dia dalam saat ni. Okay. This is product. Uh, no, this is reactant. Uh, pada masa kosong sebelum dia nak balas, dia ada 40. Number of molecule dia 40. With time, makin lama makin kurang. 10 second, kurang 20 second, until 60 second. Dia semakin berkurang. Tinggal 10 daripada 40. Uh, manakala produk, dia start dengan kosong. Okay. And then, apabila reactant kurang, dia akan meningkat, meningkat, meningkat. Okay. Itulah maksudnya. Uh, itulah dia punya graf dia. Uh, kita tengok graf macam mana terhadap masa. Reactant, dia akan semakin kurang. Dia akan start daripada ada concentration and then become less and less and less. Produk, dia berkosong, dia akan naik. Okay. Now we go to the differential rate equation. What is differential, uh, differential, differential rate equation? Differential rate equation is an equation that gives the relationship between the rate of disappearance of reactant and rate of formation of product. Kita nak hubungkan, uh, kita nak hubungkan antara uh, kadar kehilangan reactant dengan kadar Pembentukan produk. Example. Yang ni kita bagi contoh yang uh, lebih kompleks. Study A kepada B. Uh, yang ni lebih kompleks. A campur B jadi C kepada D. Dia ada A kat depan, B ada semua ni. This is stoichiometric coefficient. That's mean balance equation. No? Kita tahu yang persoalan kimia, dia mesti balance. Okay? Dia ada stoichiometric coefficient. Let's say we take uh, A lah. B, B sebenarnya. Simple juga. Okay. Jadi, this is dia punya differential rate equation dia. Rate equal to negative 1 over A dA per dt. Okay. Negative tadi kita dah tengok dah tadi. Kita dah tahu bahawa <coughs> uh, indicate uh, this is uh, disappearance of reactant. Okay. Cuma bila ada um, stoichiometric option ni, dia mesti 1 over. Okay. 1 over A. Yang ni sama macam tadi. dA per dt. Okay. Negative. Dia mesti sama dengan uh, negative 1 over B. D, B per DT. Kita mesti menggunakan square bracket. Ha, tak boleh guna macam ni, macam ni semua tak boleh. Dia mesti square bracket. Square bracket ini adalah lambang kepada concentration. Okay. Manakala C, ya, positive 1 over C, D, uh, concentration of C over DT. Okay, D pula uh, positive. Okay, positive sign indicate concentration of product increase with time. <coughs> Okay. A, B, C, D yang kecil tu small A, B, C, D ada stoichiometric coefficient alright uh, make sure this is balance equation and then we know how to write the differential rate equation alright we look at the second example consider the following equation the equation is nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas 3 mole of hydrogen gas and form 2 mole of ammonia gas and this is the differential rate equation. Okay, we write the rate equal to 1 of, uh, because uh, the stoichiometric coefficient of nitrogen is 1, so no need to write 1 over 1. Uh, no need. Just negative D concentration of nitrogen, uh, nitrogen divided by DT equal to, okay, look at here, hydrogen, uh, 3 mole of hydrogen, so uh, negative 1 over 3, DH2 per DT. And then, for ammonia, positive 1 over 2, 
concentration of amino per dt. Okay, this is differential rate equation for this equation. Okay, what does it mean? It means that the equation means uh, uh, the rate of disappearance of nitrogen. This is a uh, rate of disappearance of nitrogen is 1 over 3 of the rate disappearance of hydrogen. Yeah, so that's why ini uh, 1, yeah, 1, tak ada, tak ada, tidak ada, uh, stokomotive option adalah 1, okay. dia uh, one, 1 over 3 lah, uh, disappearance of hydrogen, and 1 over 2, rate of formation of ammonia, tu lah maksud dia, sebab tadi kita nak tengok hubungan, eh, relationship between reactant and product, the rate of uh, disappearance of reactant, and the rate of formation of product, nah, ni lah, dia punya, uh, petunjuk dia lah. Okay, now we go to the uh, ex uh, exercise uh, sample. Consider the reaction uh, two mole of hydrogen and dissociate to hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas. Okay, like this. Determine the rate of disappearance of uh, HI hydrogen iodide. Okay, because uh, hydrogen iodide is uh, reactant. Okay, the rate it must be disappearing. Eh? When the rate of iodine formation, <coughs> okay, this is rate of formation of iodine. First, what we have to do is uh, write the differential rate equation, okay? Okay, this one. Rate, you have to write the rate equal to negative 1 over 2. D, concentration of uh, uh, HI per dt, equal to, uh, usually, uh, we have to put here plus, huh? Okay, plus plus dh2 per dt plus di2 per dt. The second one is write the, the expression for rate of iodine because we already know the we already know the uh, rate of iodine, so we can write which is uh, positive yeah positive di iodine per dt equal to one over uh, no, equal to 1.8 exponent. Okay, optional to, to write the unit. Okay, 1.8 exponent, negative 6 mole per second. And then write the relationship between rate of HI and rate of I2. Okay, ambil dua ni lah. Yang ni yang kita nak cari dengan yang ni. Hydrogen tak payah lah. Okay, kita ambil yang berkenaan. Okay, rate equal to negative 1 over 2 di uh, HI per dt equal to this one. <coughs> and then, calculate the rate of HI, okay, which is twice the rate of ID. Okay. Jadi, dua ni kat depan, kita bawa lah kat situ. Dan kekalkan dia negatif kat sini, jangan bawa sekali negatif. Uh, kerana negatif ini menunjukkan the disappearance of HI. Jadi, 2 times 1.8 exponent negative 6. Jadi, dapat this one. Alright. Jadi, uh, kita tengok yang question ini pula. Because it has a, a non-polluting product, water vapor, hydrogen gas is used for fuel aboard space shuttle and may be used by earthbound engine in the near future. This is uh, the, the balance equation of uh, pembakaran ni. <coughs> pembakaran hydrogen ni. Express the rate in term of changes in H2. Okay, ni sama macam tadi. Kita kena tulis rate. Kita tulis semua lah. Uh, this one is negative 1 over 2. D, H2 per dt. Okay, negative juga. Uh, D sajalah. Uh, O2 per dt. Ni positive uh, 1 over 2 juga. For H2O per dt. Okay, settle. Okay, now uh, when O2 is decreasing at 0 0.32 mole per liter per second, at what rate is H2O increasing? Okay, kita nak H2O. Jadi, kita tulis yang H2O dulu lah. Jadi, positive uh, H2O per dt dengan uh, oxygen, yeah. Oxygen is uh, D O2 per dt. Okay. Lepas tu, kita kekalkan this one. Positive D H2O. Kena kekalkan lah. 
biar dia ada positif dua ni saja kita bawa pergi sana dua darab dengan negatif d o2 per dt and then dua 0.23 nah ingat negatif ni jangan pula pergi darab sini jadi negatif kat depan tak negatif d o2 per dt equal to 0.23 ha nah so 0.46 molar per second or molar kalau nak ikut ni mol per liter per second lah ok 0.46 alright the the rate dia tidak boleh negatif lah rate mesti sentiasa positif yang nak positif negatif ini cuma menunjukkan disappearance dengan formation alright um, sekarang jadi, uh, itu dulu untuk kali ini. Uh, kita akan jumpa di video akan datang. Jadi, sekian. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan salam sejahtera.